Hey you and welcome. Uh, we were wondering at GWL what would make life easier for you as a user. And the answer was quite obvious. In today's age of smart solution, it is worth equipping your battery pack with a communication element so you can monitor it remotely and in event of cell compromise shut it down entirely. The GWL has developed its own battery communicator and controller or BCC which is pretty much the extension of already installed CPM from LRX. And why is it important to have something like that connected to your battery packs? It offers a lot of benefits. Namely, uh, you can monitor the cell and collect the data remotely. Uh, if in case of some malfunction on this balancing the cell, you can switch off the battery pack remotely as well. Uh, when some malfunction occurs, uh, the problem will be recorded in a memory log, so you can easily see how to fix it and what went wrong. And on our GitHub, you can download the open source app, where you, which you can use to monitor the cells better and uh, receive regular updates of the software. Uh, now, let's finally take a look at the wiring procedure, which is quite straightforward. Let's get started. After unboxing, I'll attach the BCC to this little grid, which we will then secure to CPM with plastic screws. Connect the BCC to CPM with wires. Uh, connect the Ethernet cable to the BCC. By the way, the Ethernet cable can be also used as a power supply with 9 to 60 volts. And then just install the BCC reading application and get started. What I haven't mentioned yet, but it's quite important, is the fact that to store the data from the application you need to either have the Raspberry, which we are using, but an old computer will do the job as well. And let's take a look at the components which we will use for this video. First of all, our battery pack equipped with CPM, uh, the BCC controller, the BCC holder for the CPM, two Ethernet cables, PoE adapter, and for the data storage and collection, the Raspberry device, smartphone, or computer. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, you find it useful, and if so, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Until next time!